Nick is um, my same age. We're both 30. He's from Chicago. So we're both Midwesterners. Um, and that's one of the things we connected over. Um, we were set up when we met um, five years ago. And I still think to this day, I'm so grateful for my girlfriend because she could have set him up with anybody and she chose me and I'm the lucky girl. So cool. was it like talk about that setup? Yes. Yeah. Talk about the setup because I personally I don't like setups. Right? I've never you liked setups what? just because on, there's Brian. a there's a chance that it could go wrong and then it might, you know, you might uh, it might damage the relationship between all three of you. I don't know. I just rather just do it organically on my own. Like, I don't want any pressure of people setting us up, but it worked for you. So tell us, tell us a little bit more about that setup. How did it happen? No, but I get where you're coming from, because if you run in the same circles, you don't want to like, you know, mess see the waters because you're just you're just going to see them over and over again. But we got really lucky because I had been dating in New York and so had he for a couple years. And you guys know when you're dating in a big city, you just there's people are texting multiple people at once. So you never know what relationship you're in, where what the status is. So I had been just so sick of dating in New York that I was actually about to move to San Francisco when my girlfriend texted me, Hey, do you want to get drinks tonight? And I had literally ordered boxes that morning and was going to move in a couple months. And, um, and I was like, what the heck? We'll get a couple of drinks it's New York. Maybe this is a good farewell. And I remember being at this little downtown bar in um, New York called the Wren and it was packed shoulder to shoulder. And I see this really cute Italian guy kind of like weaving his way through the crowd. And um, it was New York fashion week. So I was with a bunch of girls and we were all dressed up full lashes, heels on. And he introduced himself to every other girl at the table and save me for last because he wanted to talk to me the longest. My man, so I, that's what I'm talking that about. Move. I mean, he had he had it all planned out, like on his walk over to you. <laughs> yes, that that's yes, like he right. He's got he's, he's like, got he's got, she, got moves. I know what she looks like. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, say, yeah. Your girlfriend definitely showed him your IG, hundred percent. Oh, he to- totally did. And you know what? He even says this to this day. Well, I I kind of got it out of him. I was like, oh, were you really interested in dating me when you saw my photo or heard about me? And he. Or did you just want to like sleep with someone from the show, you know? And you, you were know. just bold with it like that, huh? You straight up asked him. Come on. I love that. I love I that. I know his answer. What did he say? He said, "Of course, he just wanted to sleep with me." But oh, then I, I like personality. you. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> Once on. I got to know you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, it's good. I keep his life interesting. Keep it spicy. <laughs> he's always. He's never bored. That's for sure. Well, but five yeah, years like later, we I was here. saying. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think setups are the best thing. And so it's now my mission in life to set someone else up because I feel like, like return so the favor hard. to somebody. Yeah, totally pay it forward. 